Real quickly, as the band sets up back here, though, uh, Peter, I want you to talk uh, about your bass. Peter is playing a bass that is a box with a stick and a string. Mm -hmm. What gives? I started playing washtub bass with another band in 2004. Yeah. And after a year of playing washtub, which is a very similar idea for folks who don't know, it's a metal galvanized bucket with a broomstick and a string. Yeah. I was very limited. I was frustrated with the musical limitations of that instrument. So I started tinkering around with wooden boxes to try to warm up the sound, make it a little punchier, a little warmer. And this kind of exceeded my expectations. It was just kind of serendipitous. So, so cool. you know, it's actually based on the shape of a, of a bistro that we play on Saturday nights. It's a wedge-shaped building, so I made the box a wedge because it obeys a number of, of uh, basic acoustic engineering principles about no parallel sides and standing waves and all that. Up above my head, I hear music in the air. Up above my head. I hear music in the air, up above my head, I hear music in the air, and I really do believe, yes, I really do believe there's a heaven somewhere, a heaven somewhere up above my head, I hear music in the air, up above my head.
the sound of Baby Soda Jazz Band playing a, that's a gospel song from the 40s, Sister Rosetta Tharps, uh, up above my head, I hear music in the air, an amazing version of that, we're live in the Fraser Performance Studio.